All right, good morning, everyone, and welcome to my presentation about advanced continuous tertiary process under the supervision of Dr. Eric Kim and Dr. Dimitri Ivanov. So first of all, what distinguishes the continuous tertiary process from conventional automated um, layup processes, for instance, automated fiber placement or automated tape lay layups? So the continuous tertiary process allows defect-free fiber steering for 1D angle variation composite layups. So it eliminates toe gaps or overlaps by gripping the toes and shearing them in place um, in plane. Um, so whereas during the AFP process, the head tip is always uh, kept, kept perpendicular to the toe path, as you can see in this picture here. Uh, during the CTS process, the head tip is kept steady and the toe path is shifted in plane, which allows the fibers to be sheared into place. Also in high advantage of the CTS technology is that there's no coupling between the tape width and the minimum steering radius. So for AFP and ATL layups, the minimum steering radius is dependent on the use tape width and to prevent um, fiber buckling and straightening on the inside and outside of a curved layup, the steering radius requires to be kept as large as possible for these layup processes. So even for three millimeter white tapes, a minimum steering radius of about half a meter is required for these um, layer processes uh, to avoid any defects. Um, but laying up on a complex three-dimensional surface is to date still challenging as triangular gaps um, with fiber discontinuities and resin-rich areas are induced. So the main research goal is to achieve defect-free three-dimensional layups, which would significantly expand the design space and allow manufacturing processes with ultra-high structural efficiency. So the effect of AFP defects, uh, currently fibers are cut during the AFP layup process, um, for example, to lay up over curved surfaces to avoid overlaps. Uh, which induces resin-rich areas and free toe edges that result in high stress concentration areas and areas of high stress concentrations are the areas of failure initiation, um, as you can see in this video here. So Falco et al. did a research and studied the influence of triangular shaped toe gaps of notched and unnotched composite specimens for tensile tests. And for defect induced, oops, for defect induced um, unnotched specimens, a strength reduction of around 12.6% was in analytically predicted compared to defect free specimens. However, the experimental results show an even higher strength reduction of around 22.1%. For an open hole ten tensile test, the strength reduction was analytically calculated to be around 9.1% whereas the experimental strength reduction was stated to be around 4.8%. And furthermore, it was also said that the composite free edges had an impact on the failure mode of the specimens, which were mainly delaminations. So conventional layup defects, as I already said, um, it induces these uh, triangular shaped resin pockets, um, but for the AFP layup, you need to cut the fibers uh, to get the desired shape. And yeah, the resin rich areas um, have high stress concentration and areas of failure initiation. So we came up with the to width control concept um, that allows to control the toe width during a layup, uh, which would significantly improve the mechanical properties of a layup. So my research aim is to improve the current CTS technology by implementing a toe width control mechanism, which allows uh, to control the toe width without cutting any fibers. And therefore we don't have any free toe edges uh, or toe drops or toe overlaps. And throughout the whole process, we are maintaining a constant fiber volume fraction. The research objectives are to find ideas to eliminate geometry induced defects, design and build a toe width control device that can be easily mounted on CNC machines or robots um, to produce 2D or three dimensional layups, evaluating and analyzing the accuracy of a layup and then improve the concept. So we have already done um, a layup with 20 
five toes laid next to each other and we have narrowed down the toe width along the x axis and we were able to change the toe width by approximately 30 percent but we can further improve it in the future um, yeah we want to produce complex shaped three-dimensional structures without any toe gaps or overlaps and eliminate the toe uh, the fiber discontinuities and produce less defects than material deposition processes used to date. Thank you very much.